Hi, boys and girls. Today we are going to talk about three dimensional shapes and how we can identify them. So there are going to be three different ways that we identify the shape. The first way is called the face. So just like our face, it is the flat surface of a shape, the face. Then in the diagram there, you can see the edge. An edge is where two faces come together. So I'm gonna bring back out my cube. Here is one face where the letter C is. Where the letter C and the face with the key on it meet, that is called the edge, okay? So all of you could run your finger along the edge of your table, okay? We use that word um, when describing a lot of different shapes, the edge. So we have the face with the key or the letter C, and then the edge is where those faces meet. Now, a cube, remember, has a lot of different sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six faces on this object, and each face on the cube has a different shape or letter on it. Where my faces and edges meet, where three or more faces meet, so the key, the letter C, and the umbrella. This is called a vertex. The vertex is the point where the faces meet. So they all meet at this, it's almost like a corner, but we call it a vertex. So today we are going to look at different shapes and count the number of faces or flat surfaces the number of edges where two faces meet, and the vertex or vertices is how we say more than one because our shapes might have more than one vertex. All right, so I'm gonna flip the slide and show you how we can count the number of faces, edges, and vertices on some of the shapes that I have here at my house. All right, so we will start with the pyramid. Okay, so let's review. We're looking for faces, which is the flat surfaces. Has to be flat. Edges, where two faces meet. And vertices is where three or more faces meet. All right, so let's start with our pyramid, the number of faces. So since this is an object um, that I can write on, I am going to draw a dot on one of the sides of my pyramid so I can remember that that's where I'm going to start counting the faces, okay? Because we wanna fill in our chart. You're gonna have to do that in your book also. So let's start counting the faces or flat surfaces of my pyramid. One, two, three, Four, so there are four flat faces and the bottom makes five. So I would fill in a number five in the number of faces that the pyramid has. So we'll write a little five in there. Number of edges. So an edge is where two faces meet, okay? So I'm gonna go back to the side with the dot on it. And here is one face and a second face. So they meet here at this edge. So here is one edge, two edges, three edges, four edges. Okay, that's where those ones meet, so that's four. Then we have all of these edges at the bottom. Five, because this face meets this face. Six, seven, eight. So a pyramid has eight edges, okay? And that's where the faces meet, just like the edge of a table, where the top of the table meets the side of the table. 
The last one is vertices, and vertices is where three or more faces meet. So that doesn't happen as often, but I can show you on our pyramid that this first face, second face, third face, and fourth face all meet at a point at the top. So that's one vertex is the top point. And then let's take a look at the bottom of our pyramid. This face, this face, and this face all meet at this point. So there's a second vertex. So, so far I have one at the top where these faces meet. This vertex where these three faces meet. That's one, two, three, four, five. There are five vertices in a pyramid, okay? In your book, and I'll show you this again in a couple of minutes, on page 766 gives you a great place to help you remember what is a face, what is an edge, what is a vertex, okay? But you can remember, and now our face isn't perfectly flat, but I like to think of our face on our body, a flat surface. That is the flat surfaces on the shape. An edge, think of it when two faces come together, like the edge of a table. So two flat surfaces come together and make that edge. And vertex is like a point. It's where three or more faces come together. So that is something that we'll just have to study, okay? The next one, remember these are real life objects. So luckily I have a can of soup here. My can of soup, how many faces does it have? Okay, so a face has to be a flat surface. So when I look at the can of soup, this all the way around is not a flat surface. Okay, so I can look at the top of the can of soup. That's a face because that's a flat surface and the bottom of the soup is a flat surface. So a can of soup only has two faces, two flat surfaces, the top and the bottom. An edge is when two faces meet. So if this is not a face, then I can't count that because it's not a flat surface as an edge. So the can of soup actually has zero edges and zero vertices because there are no places that the can of soup has different faces that meet, okay? And the last real life shape is a basketball, but I'm gonna use my sphere instead, okay? Are there any flat surfaces on this sphere or ball? Hopefully your answer was no. So I'm going to write a zero. Oops, sorry. Oh, it doesn't like that. Okay, so there are zero faces on a sphere. Are there any edges on a sphere? Are there any spots where two faces come together? No, so that's another zero. Okay, are there any vertices? Are there any places where three faces come together? No, because we didn't even have one face. So that's another zero. So a sphere, it's hard to see on that screen, but a sphere actually has zero faces, zero edges, and zero vertices. Because it really doesn't have any flat surfaces to make a face, an edge, or a vertices. Okay? All right, so let's go into your book. You are going to need page 766. I'm going to stop sharing my screen so that you'll just see me and I'm gonna show you our textbook. Here is the chart that I was talking about at the top of page 766. It says you can describe three dimensional shapes by the number of faces, edges, and vertices. A face is a flat surface. So on their sample cube here, they're pointing to that flat surface. Just like on my cube, it had the letter C on the flat surface. Second one, an edge is where two faces meet. And one of the reasons I picked this cube is because I knew you'd be able to see different shapes on each face. So there's a yo-yo 
where the yo-yo meets the letter C, that is the edge. Okay, and then a vertex is where three or more faces meet. So when the yo-yo and the C and the key all meet at that point, that is a vertex or a vertices. So when you're completing this page, it might help if you find objects at your home that you can hold and point and count like I was doing. If you don't have a shape um, at home, you can use your book. Okay, you can just count the faces on the book. Just remember that these are three dimensional objects. So there are going to be other sides that you can't see in the picture. Okay, so you might have to imagine it in your mind. Okay, so you're going to write how many faces, how many edges, how many vertices in a cube, then a rectangular prism, then a pyramid, and then a sphere. Remember that one, the sphere. And then on the back of this page, it is going to give you um, different face, edge, and vertex numbers. And it is going to ask you which shape it is describing. So for example, number five there says it has zero faces, zero edges, and zero vertices, okay? Which was the only shape that I've talked about so far that had zero, 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 okay? And circle that object there on the page. Then they give you some real life samples of those objects. So maybe some samples you can find at your house too to be able to count. And on the back, again, like I said last time, these are my favorite pages, when it gives you a word problem and you have to figure out which shape they are talking about. So I hope you enjoy learning about shapes and I hope you enjoy um, counting the faces, edges, and vertices. And we'll see you back for the next chapter.